Hello, this is Nocturne Alley's final presentation from the 2018 ME2110 Design Competition. The team members are Bryce, Ambus, Trexton, and Nathaniel. To recap, the competition goals are to design an integrated system to maximize points by removing Dementors and Nifflers, collecting shiny objects, and imprisoning Grindelwald. The competition has several limitations. No system should be activated beforehand. There should be no projectiles, and the budget should be less than $100. Design limitations include spatial constraints, only five mouse traps, two actuators, and two solenoids. We use the House of Quality to identify the importance of items relating to performing consistently and not disqualifying. Important competition requirements were does not damage track, does not interfere with other machines, is triggered remotely, operates autonomously, and fits within 1 foot by 2 feet by 1.5 foot volume. To successfully address all competition requirements, important engineering requirements were identified. The table shows what the most important engineering requirements are the MyRio interface, forces, and span. These met will ensure that all parts work well under the applied forces and then do not deform or fail, as well as span the distances required with the MyRio interface serving as a much-needed backbone for timing and autonomy. The morph chart shows a potentially high level of interconnectivity between the Grindelwald and Niffler subsystems, since they all must interact with the center of the track and egress for maximum points. Producing the best way to complete these assignments was prioritized. From initial tests, it was further noticed how important it was to interact with the Azkaban area quickly as to deny point scoring opportunities to opponents. With this reality in mind, four initial designs were produced and their effectiveness in different areas compared. The final design brought together the most effective features from each of the alternative designs to produce a conglomeration of all the best features. The chosen design involved a Dementor arm that would swing down, gaining kinetic energy from gravitational potential energy, and expelling the Dementor out of the home zone. The end effector containing the Niffler filter and Grindelwald subsystems would slide down due to the assistance of pneumatic pistons and reach the center of the track. The Grindelwald system involves an arm that would be rotated with a motor to dispense Grindelwald once it detected that the grades dropped. When moving to actually produce this design, several space and stability issues were discovered. First, it was realized that a four-pillar support structure was required to ensure proper position control for the Grindelwald subsystem, and because of this, the Grindelwald subsystem had to be moved on top of the Niffler subsystem. Finally, various conflicts between attempted Dementor subsystems and the existing and already proven subsystems resulted in the team deciding to remove the Dementor subsystem so as not to imperil existing functionality. So this is an arm we made to expel the Dementor. The, the problems we faced with this arm were the orientation. Once we placed it on the pillar, it conflicted with the end effector. So once, once we lost the arm, it shook the whole structure and the, the structure would pivot. And it would also kind of hit the end effector, which caused problems. To overcome this uh, problem, we designed another end effector uh, another arm to expel the Dementor, which is this. And the problem with this arm were that it would conflict with the wires and interfere with other components of the machine. The produced design also has more fully developed mechatronics. After the machine has performed all of its functions, the motor attached to the base pulls the string that's attached to the end effector as such. The MyRio button can be pressed to reverse the direction of the motor unwinding the string. The design operates by launching to the center, using an arm with a flexible appendage to liberate and collect gems and nifflers, send the nifflers to an opponent's zone, and the gems into our zone. The IR sensor uses a moving point average to detect the fall of the wall and a motor imprisons Grindelwald. The total material cost for this machine was $55. After extensive time calibrating and refining the machine's mechanisms, it performed with a high degree of consistency. This consistency allowed the machine to compete in five rounds of the competition, not necessarily by having the greatest point scoring potential, but by beating other machines to scoring points or by not failing when other machines did. Even still, the competition did reveal a few flaws.
During the final competition, we experienced three main issues. One, during a boxing attempt, we shifted the machine slightly, didn't notice, and our Grindelwald system came misaligned. And the Niffler system sent the Nifflers in such a way that they rolled partially back into the whole system. The second issue was that this plastic bit got put off slightly, and so it did not liberate the Nifflers as designed, and so the end effector bounced around. This collected negative points instead of positive points. Uh, the third issue was when our cables got tangled. This caused the system not to fully deploy, and also ripped out the IR sensor, causing it so that the Grindelwald system could no longer trigger. Even with these issues, for the first two, we still managed to have the machine complete enough of its functions where we were able to advance on to the fifth round, where when the uh, cables got tangled, we were unfortunately knocked out of the competition. For the competition, the machine reached the fifth round, which was the quarterfinals, placing it in the top 16 of all teams. In the design review, the team placed 55th out of 59. The team had a limited amount of time, and the choice came to deciding between testing and refining the machine to make sure it was reliable, or spending time painting and decorating the machine. Our team calculated that it was more beneficial to focus on making the system perform reliably than to spend time decorating. This paid off during the actual competition, though the judges were not as convinced. Our team received 10 responses from judges. Likely, judges were not satisfied by the lack of aesthetics and rough-looking design, though we scored well on presentation. The competition's results of this machine show that the Grindelwald subsystem proved to be an important advantage over other teams, as many opposing machines did not have one, and all others this machine competed against either did not sense the wall or disqualified. Additionally, this n machine's Niffler subsystem did outperform others, with the exception of one round, and materially assisted in progressing through rounds. Despite the low design review score, the machine's simplicity, reliability, and design effectiveness proved quite successful. Throughout tackling this design problem, the team learned the importance of simple design, prototyping as a tool for problem understanding, and proper coding habits.